गणेशा नम ओ मयि सरस्वत नम ओ श्री गुरव नम ओ भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो दीमहि दियो यो न प्रचोदयात ओ कृष्णा वासुदेवाय हर ए परमात्म प्रणत क्लेशनाशाय गोविंदाए नमो नम ओ त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाक बंधना मृत्योर्मोक्षीय मृता ओ शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू टुडेज सत्संग स्वामी ललिता प्रियानंदा जी इज जस्ट जॉइनिंग अस एज यू नो टुडे इज अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग गुरु पूर्णिमा गुरु गुरु two words go darkness ru light so someone who brings us from the darkness into the light is a guru a teacher there are many kinds of teachers the first ones being your parents who brought you into this world then the studies you did all the teachers you encountered in your career but this guru shishya parampara is a little different it's about our parents bring us into this world and the guru make sure that you exit the world properly never to come back again otherwise we are caught in the cycle of life and death so let us fold our hands in gratitude to the guru pay our respects to him normally we do bhagavad gita at this time on sundays and today we will first offer stuti to bhag to our gurudev swami jyotirmanand ji maharaj and to all the teachers all the gurus all the ashrams all the divine energies who are helping us on this path and we will uh, then do a guru stuti i will chant some guru mantras and then we will do 108 uh, abhishekam uh, our archana to the guru by offering this rice both of us have it here and this thing you see here is uh, swami lalita priyananda ji has so lovingly done brought some paduka guru paduka these have been blessed guru's feet these have been blessed by the by our guru ji so we will guru ji uh, has touched with his own charan yeah his own feet have you put the on this yes okay so yes so that's uh, may all that blessing also come to each of you and may this gyan yagya ye jo gyan yagya hum sab kar rahe hain jisse aap ye gyan prapt kar rahe hain aapke hriday mein bhi ye bhakti ka beej ankurit ho aur aapka bahut kalyan ho aur isi jeevan mein hum sab mukt ho jaye may we all get enlightened and may we um, Uh, never be born again cycle of rebirth will terminate if we are sincerely following this path to chaliye hum sab log hath jode let us all fold our hands thank the divine energies our prostrations to the guru 
to the preachers, to the scriptures, and to each one of you, divinity in each one of you. हम सब में भी वही गुरु तत्व विद्यमान है जो हमें इस मुक्ति के मार्ग पर आगे लेके जाता है तो विद दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन द थ्री ओम्स एंड द स्टार्टिंग मंत्रज सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट आई विल लेट स्वामी ललिता प्रियानंद जी स्टार्ट से समथिंग एंड देन वी विल गेट इन टू द गुरु मंत्रज विच आई विल चैंट and then um, we will do the 108 names so please join us mentally if you have some rice and uh, mentally you can offer it on a on a simple plate uh, that would be very nice at your end but if not mentally you join with us and uh, enjoy this beautiful festivity we pray for our long and healthy life of our guru and all the gurus all the divine teachers who are selflessly serving this universe hari om tat sat hari om tat sat divyatman divine self heartfelt divine love light healing bliss prosperity all auspiciousness आप सबको आत्म प्रणाम हृदय से प्रार्थना आप सबके पास पहुंचे आशीर्वाद पहुंचे आज गुरु पूर्णिमा टुडे इज अ गुरु पूर्णिमा विच मींस द फुल मून दैट इज डेडिकेटेड टू गुरुज एंड इट स्टार्टेड दिस परंपरा दिस लिनी इट स्टार्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ the blessings of bhagwan ved vyas ji you know ved vyas ji has written so many scriptures including all the name it so many except for ramayan valmiki uh, ji so uh, mahabharat se lekar from mahabharat all the way to all upanishads and shrimad bhagavat mahapuran so so many and the last one shrimad bhagavat mahapuran because that's the one that gave him satisfaction so this full moon out of one year is dedicated to ved vyas ji and all gurus following that parampara following that lineage so from ved vyas ji from him follow down and this is the day we dedicate to our gurus and guru can be any type just like we have said it first your mother father because they brought you to the world in the physical form and then uh, your sikshit gurus they have given you some kind of knowledge for worldly process but Rea is the Dikshit Guru. Dikshit Guru is the one who gives you spiritual knowledge, who gives you the guidance and gives you that shakti, that divine energy through the Guru Mantra. When you don't have a Guru, when you don't have a Dikshit Guru, then कई कई धर्म में बोलते भी हमारे कई शाखाएं हैं so they call niguda so that that means you don't have a guru and you are not treated as auspicious karyas uh, or karmas or any actions because guru is the one who comes in between you guru god guru govin da khade wo to hum hamesha aap sunte ho lekin this is the main essence so everyone talks about guru 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 anybody they say guru yes anybody can give but you should clarify about your dikshit guru like our dikshit guru pujiye bhagwan hamare liye to bhagwan hamare guru sab kuch hai bhagwan bhi hai sab kuch hai unme sab kuch samaya hai hamare guru ji pujiye bhagwan adi bhagwan adi shankaracharya ji ke lineage ke guru param guru पूज्य श्री स्वामी शिवानंदा जी महाराज ऑफ डिवाइन लाइफ सोसाइटी एंड आवा गुरु डायरेक्ट डिसाइपल्स ऑफ आवा गुरु भगवान पूज्य 
भगवान ज्योतिर्मय आनंदा जी महाराज we are fully receiving his blessings his energy is just entering as we even take his name no name no form but we have to identify in some way and that guru is sitting within you so without saying too much about guru at this moment we are beginning this special day dedicating with all of you enveloped with us dedicating to our gurus and you can do your prayers if you don't have rice or you, you can do flower petals or any type of flower you have and if you don't have it even water or even mentally as we chant the mantra for our guru dedicated to our gurudev uh, you can al along with us you can do the same prayers and think of your gurus and it is very emotional day for us because all those how it happened and i will also later after we do the prayers we'll tell you some guidance some little little points that each one should remember about how what and what who guru is and what are the some of the norms and rules and and with that i'm blessing each one of you with swami nikilananda ji here with the energy and the powers given to us by our gurudev we are transmitting that same energy that same blessing that same powers to you so you can flourish and walk on that path without much difficulty and and reach that goal of liberation which is the main yes. essence of today and then you so can read swami ji's I, uh, i will still read swami ji's quotation before we start yeah and then whatever we wrote to swami ji today later. yes i will after, read after the after the prayers yeah and then so i read the guru mantra so with that before i read the quotations guru brahma guru, guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmay shri guruve namaha tasmay shri guruve namaha tasme shri guruve namaha just like shiva linga represents lord shiva our guru's paduka is our guru and we treat as real not like he it's just a paduka no that is our guru's real paduka lotus feet. because his lotus feet touched these padukas and he transmitted the energy so you receive the energy also sure. from here With okay this i will read the quotation before we even begin begin the prayers in honor of our gurudev puja shri swami jyotirmayananda ji maharaj of yoga research foundation of miami florida and our param gurudev puja shri swami sivananda ji maharaj of divine life society rishikesh bhagwan adi shankaracharya ji our world teacher our jagat guru in his entire lineage of gurus our humble sashtang pranams pranams to gurus and saints and sages of all religions pranams to acharya ji's shastri ji's pandit ji's all of you and especially to our divine beloved shishyas and all of you who are joined and connected with us either online or on facebook or through special services that we do food service all of you are included we enveloping all of you to receive the energies and blessings aap sabko aatma pranam hriday se prem bhara aashirwad aap sab sukhi re anand mein rahe aise आगे हम बढ़ते हैं गुरुजी गुरुजी का मैसेज इन हिज ओनर एडोरेशन टू द डिवाइन प्रिसेप्टर हु इज द गिवर हु इज द ब्लिस ऑफ ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण 
giver of supreme joy, the embodiment of Viva consciousness, beyond the pairs of opposites, vast like the ether, infinite, eternal, beyond all modifications. To that divine Guru, we offer our adorations. It's not about the number of shishyas, it's about quality, not quantity. So, quality shishya and quality guru. That's what we all should be looking into and finding Guru, Guruji's inspiration. How to develop inspiration? How do we inspire ourselves and others? Our, one of our duties is to inspire others to walk on this path. Help those who are not knowing about this path. So one of those messages or inspiration from our Guru Dev is poetic writings of great poets. And we are thinking of Sri Ved Vyas Ji, Bhagwan Ved Vyas Ji. And Shukadeva Ji, Bhagwan Shukadeva Ji. Shukrutal ki yaad aagya. Hariyom. What a vriksh. Akshay vat vriksh ke niche. Think of mentally go there. Sitting under the akshay vat vriksh with your guru. And receiving Shri Mad Bhagavat Mahapuran Katha. Entering deep into the cave of your heart. Where there has been darkness. But no longer darkness. It's full of light. Effulgence of light. Gu is the darkness and Ru is the effulgence of light that's entering your cave of the heart. So there is no more darkness because you have a Guru and you are sitting under that Akshay, never destructible, that Akshay Vatvriksh. And Sri Shukdev Ji blessing you. With that, Swamiji is saying, poetic writings of great poets, musical composers, Positions of great composers, masterpieces of paintings, all these do not lose their value in time. Rather, they continue to grow brighter and more enchanting. The ancient scriptures were written as expressions of spiritual inspiration. Therefore, a text from the scriptures can be interpreted in various ways. It can be read and reread many times. And each time a new meaning can be discovered. A new vision can be experienced. May we all go through that, those experiences, those blissful spiritual inspiring experiences with full of fragrance. We have offered a jasmine flower to our Gurudev today. So that represents the fragrance he is spreading out. And because of his fragrance, we are sitting here having this satsanga with you. Otherwise, and Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran, Swamiji also does, I also do. And it's only through his blessings, nothing else. We are just a dust at his lotus feet. Hari Om Tat Sat. So let tatsat. us start the 108 chantings of uh, adorations to the Guru, different Sanskrit names. Every name is a mantra. Om, as you know, is the smallest mantra. It also means Brahman or the divine consciousness, the one universal energy. And we will say Namaha in the end. Namaha has two meanings. One is that we prostrate, we humbly... Um, give our adorations and the second meaning is na mama two words na mama namaha when you combine them it becomes namaha so na means not mama means mine so it's basically negating 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 saying god we don't even own this body or breath this is not mine everything belongs to you when our breath and body is also not ours what else can we can we own on this earth plane or anywhere. So therefore we have to be simply like a flute of Krishna. Let him pick up and play us. Be his instrument and that is the best thing we can do. 
सो विदाउट फर्दर एडू वी विल स्टार्ट दीज वन हंड्रेड एंड एट नेम्स यहाँ पे डालेंगे पादुका मैं पादुका यहाँ आप सो इनको बड़ा बीच में नहीं है या यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन पुट इट इन ऑन द लेफ्ट जोर that's okay yeah guruji so that that so you can it. see a little bit better with us we don't need this and then, then we don't need this plate we will offer it at the lotus feet and you also mentally join us it's as if you are doing it with us also so no uh, special preparation needed on your end other than your devotion and your undivided attention and we have rice here um it should be uh, full grain it's always good to have basmati or some other rice that's not broken it's it should be full full pieces so another thing and i have haldi and chandan in here and tulsi leaves ha uh, haldi is turmeric chandan is um, sandalwood sandalwood and tulsi is bas- basil basil yeah so holy um, basil yeah and another thing we want to tell you is how to use when uh, when this is not for this yagya but any time you are even doing even this one too this one of course but any one that you are doing uh, uh, later also you use only basically three fingers your thumb and then your ring finger and then the middle finger the ego this uh, finger is known as the finger of the ego Uh, ahankar oh, therefore yeah. when you do your japa you also keep this finger aside and also the little finger that one doesn't matter so little much but, tamas, so we don't but want it is ha huh, it is tamasic so we leave it al- aside and therefore whenever you are offering and you don't over ever offer it like that you offer it like this like, like this, with gently. your palm gently with love and compassion you may have seen in havans when there are big uh, rituals fire rituals going on people are just throwing things in the in the fire that's not the proper way to do it proper way is what we just told you and also whenever you say pick it up say, like this and then gently yeah. offer this becomes a mudra yeah. and touches your heart right like from the your deer heart. see like the deer face the deer mm. so um so when we do that uh, you basically are doing offering it with your heart better if you even feel that it's coming out of your heart these things we are, that we are giving to uh, our guru so let us do the 108 chantings together and i'm so happy to see Uh, many of you especially sushila ji because she is an old uh, disciple of swami ji since 1970s mm. so very dedicated and uh, very sincere like all of you are ah, many of you of are you. all of you are but we are blessed to have her today with us so uh, and she has many beautiful stories to share with us about swami ji but anyway we will um, continue this uh, after showing you this basic process uh, we will now start the 108 names okay shuru karte one second swami ji i have important thing that i so um that is what we do and all of you who have joined us that i at least i can see uh, yogini ji uh, shankar ji sushila ji roshni ji um roop and ronita ji nirmala misr ji sushma ji um and all those who may i i may not have mentioned or many of you who will view this later to each one of you our divine blessings our guru's blessings and may we all be instruments small instruments in the divine plan human life runs very fast very quickly day after day year after year month after month and before we know it it is time to depart so what you are earning now is your perpetual wealth this wealth is never exhausted ye dhan kabhi bhi nasht nahi hota hai sansarik dhan to nasht ho jata hai the worldly wealth will will extinguish also when it is time to depart we cannot even take the rings on our own body forget even the hand who's wearing the ring will not go so nothing can go only this this uh, earning that we are doing and uh, guru kripa guru kripa moksh mulam guru kripa which we will say so i'm not sure today if we will have even time for bhagavad gita but if we do we will do one shloka otherwise we will dedicate this whole thing to our guru 
praying for his long and healthy life and praying for your long and healthy and prosperous life also because this is a tradition guru by himself is uh, he has all the knowledge but who does he give it to he gives it to the shishyas to the disciples to the souls who need that knowledge so both benefit guru benefits shishya also benefits and the tradition continues okay so let's start with the 108 chantings now om guru ve namaha om guna karaye namaha om gopre namaha om gocharaye namaha om gopati priyaye namaha om gunine namaha om gunavatam shreshthaye namaha om gurunam guruve namaha om avyayaye namaha om jetre namaha om jayantaye namaha om jayadaye namaha om jivaye namaha om anantaye namaha om jayavahaye namaha om angirasaye namaha om advarasaktaye namaha om viviktaye namaha om advartritparaye namaha om vachaspataye namaha om vashine namaha om vashyaye namaha om varishthaye namaha om vagvichakshanaye namaha om chitta shuddhi karaye namaha om shrimate namaha om chaitraye namaha om chitra shikhandi jaye namaha om brihadrathaye namaha om brihad bhavane namaha om brihaspataye namaha om abhishtadaye namaha om suracharyaye namaha om suraradhyaye namaha om surkaryakritognaye namaha om girnavanaposhakaye namaha Om Dhanyaye Namaha Om Gishpate Namaha Om Girishaye Namaha Om Managhaye Namaha Om Dhivaraye Namaha Om Dhishanaye Namaha Om Divyabhushanaye Namaha Om Devapujitaye Namaha Om Dhanurdharaye Namaha Om Daityahantre Namaha Om Dayasaraye Namaha Om Dayakaraye Namaha Om Dharignashaye Namaha Om Dhanyaye Namaha Om Dakshinayana Sambhavaye Namaha Om Dhanurmeenadhipaye Namaha Om Devaye Namaha Om Dhanurbanadharaye Namaha Om Maharaye Namaha Om Angiro Varshanjataye Namaha Om Angira Kula Sambhavaye Namaha Om Sindhu Deshadipaye Namaha Om Dhimate Namaha Om Swarnakayaye Namaha Om Chatur Bujhaye Namaha Om Hemangadaye Namaha Om Hemavapushe Namaha Om Hemabhushan Bhushitaye Namaha Om Pushyanathaye Namaha Om Pushyaragamandi Mandala Manditaye Namaha Om Kasha Pushpa Samana Bhaye Namaha 
ओम इंद्राद्य मर संग पाए नम ओम असमान बलाए नम ओम सत्व गुण संपद विभाव सवे नम ओम भूसुरा भीषदाए नम ओम भूरी यश से नम ओम पुण्य विवर्धनाए नम ओम धर्म रूपाए नम ओम धनाध्यक्षाए नम ओम धनदाए नम ओम धर्म पालनाए नम ओम सर्व वेदार्थ तत्व ज्ञाए नम ओम सर्व पद्विवाए नम ओम सर्व पाप प्रशमनाए नम ओम स्वमतानुगतामराए नम ओम ऋग्वेद पारगाए नम ओम त्रक्षराशी मार्ग प्रचारवते नम ओम सदानंदाए नम ओम सत्यसंधाए नम ओम सत्य संकल्प मानसाए नम ओम सर्वागम ज्ञाए नम ओम सर्वज्ञाए नम ओम सर्वेदात विदे नम ओम ब्रह्मपुत्राए नम ओम ब्राह्मणेशाए नम ओम ब्रह्म विद्या विशारदाए नम ओम सनाधिक निर्मुक्ताए नम ओम सर्वोक वंशवदाए नम ओम सुसुरासुरगंधर्व वंदताए नम ओम सत्य भाषणाए नम ओम बृहस्पत नम ओम सुराचार्याय नम ओम दयावत नम ओम शुभलक्षणाए नम ओम लोकत्रय गुरुवे नम ओम श्रीमते नम ओम सर्वगाय नम ओम सर्वतो विभवे नम ओम सर्वेशाय नम ओम सर्वदा तुष्टाय नम ओम सर्वदाय नम ओम सर्वपूजिताय नम so with this thank you all for joining with us and also enjoying this great punya of the 108 names of the guru each one explains has a has a meaning like compassionate kind love ganesha auspicious so on every name has a meaning with this bhavana we have concluded this small simple yagya to offer our guru our humble prostrations and pray for his long and healthy life and may all divine energies be with him and be with all the gurus all the teachers all the sanyasi saints and every householder who is trying to be spiritual and dedicate their lives and do bhakti so that is the glory and now i will do some guru stotras uh, there are um, uh, 25 i do this every morning and this is how we stay connected with our guru our guru is in miami he is brahman god himself because he has attained that liberation mukti once you once the river jumps into the ocean it becomes the ocean only the body gets old it eventually departs also but the teachings and the kindness and the wisdom is the same as coming from brahman so god does not physically come himself on the earth at all times so he sends sages and saints as his messengers to spread his scriptures to spread his wisdom and knowledge 
and since these enlightened sages they abide in God only so wo kyunki brahmanishth hain that's why we call them brahmanishth you have heard that brahmanishth brahma shrotri shri shri and 108 that kind of titles we give to these gurus but in essence they are all paramhansas meaning they are now connected with divinity and due to grace due to love they come down to help us imagine we are all drowning in water and then there is a big boat with the guru giving his hand to each one of us picking us up and putting us on that boat and that boat takes us to liberation never again being caught in this mesh of life and death and circles of illusion that is the role of the guru so with this i will chant some stotras the ones that i find um, we can uh, look at the meanings of some of them in english but they are in sanskrit just hearing it is very auspicious even if you don't un understand just those root letters beej they are called beej aksharas these beej aksharas going into your ears are divine so it's like devavani so offering it to guru this one we often say swami uh, lalita priyananda ji often says it brahmanandam padam mm -hmm. so we'll start from that you have that english version of that one brahmanandam you read it oh, all the time yeah so okay. let's start with that one brahmanandam paramasukhadam kevalam gyanamurtim dvandvatitam gagana sadrisham tatvam asya dilaksham ekam nityam vimalam achalam Saravadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavati Tam Triguna Rahitam Sadgurum Tam Namami Sadgurum Tam Namami Sadgurum Tam Namami Adorations to the Divine Preceptor, who is the bliss of Brahman the giver of supreme joy, the embodiment of Viva consciousness, beyond the pairs of opposites, vast like the ether, infinite, eternal, beyond all modifications, to that divine Guru we offer our adorations. So as Om you, Shri Guru Guru Namaha. Namaha. So as you can see, every word is worth contemplating upon meditating upon it is deep the next so I, shloka I, I, I do want to chant one additional one before you begin that one okay. om sahana bhavatu sahana bhunaktu sahaviryam karavavahe tejasvinam vaditamastu ma vidvishavahe Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. What this means? May God protect us both, the Guru and the Shishya. That means the Dikshit Guru, the teacher and the disciple may both be protected by our Isht and our God. May we work together for the attainment of knowledge and mainly spiritual knowledge with Dikshit Guru. And may we work together for the attainment of knowledge. May the knowledge be studied by us. Illuminate our intellects leading to intuitive knowledge. May there never be disharmony between us guru and disciple om peace 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 that means there should always be peace and harmony between guru and disciple and so many times disciples start arguing with the gurus it's okay to discuss but not okay to, to argue learn. yeah mm -hmm. okay so moving on to the next shloka series 
different ways to appreciate the Guru. Before we do this, Saint Kabir, many of you have heard of the name Kabir. He says, Guru Govind dono khade kaki lagi hu paaye balihari guru aapke govind diyo mila. That if Guru and God both have come to my house at the same time and I open the door, who should I prostrate to first? And then Kabira smiles and says, God, you will have to wait. First, my Guru, I will first adore him. Because of him, you are here. Was he not here? If my Guru was not here, I would have been circulating in many cycles of life and death. But due to my Guru, he has the capacity, the ability, and through him, you have also arrived in my life. And Guru, God is not jealous. <laughs> He's not angry. He doesn't feel bad that the disciple is first uh, prostrating to the Guru and not to me. Because like every mother loves their child, when the child is honored, the mother is automatically honored. She feels great, isn't it? That is the relation. Then Kabira further says he felt so much for his Guru and we also feel like that. And may each of you feel that. May tears of gratitude and joy and the Shraddha, faith come. And when that happens, then you are well on your way to be an advanced sadhak, when well on your way to enlightenment. So that is what um, he says. Sab dharati kagad karu, lekhani sab banarai, saat samandar masi karu, guru gun likhana jai. He says, if I, Kabir ji says, and of course he's representing so many of us who feel the same for our Guru, each respective Guru, when we say our Guru, it is not the body of our Guru, it is the Guru that is teacher, the divine teacher, the divine knowledge, the Vedas, Ved Vyasji, and we will talk about them in a few minutes, about all these divine energies. So Guru is really a Tattva, an energy. So he says, if I take, sub, if the whole earth became paper, and if the all the seven oceans became ink, and if I made um, columns, you, you, they used to have uh, the writing instrument in Sanskrit. They would make uh, a wooden in, wooden writing. It was called kalam, like a pencil, but uh, we needed ink for that. So he says, if I cut down all the woods of the entire world and I make pencils out of it, pens out of it, if I take all the oceans and make ink out of it, I take the entire earth, even then I cannot do justice to the glory of the Guru. Meaning, Guru is beyond words, he is beyond expressions, he is beyond our ability to say anything. But since this is all we have, so we offer like offering a small light, a little lamp to the sun. Does the sun need the lamp? No, but the sun appreciates your sincerity and humility with which you are praying to him. So that is what we are doing on this auspicious Guru Purnima day for our Guru. Then this shloka is Yasyantam nadi madhyam nahi karcharanam nama gotram na sutram no jatir neva varanam na bhavati purusho na na punsam na chastri meaning the Guru doesn't have an end, he doesn't have a middle, and he doesn't have a beginning, and he doesn't have feet, and he doesn't have a name, and he doesn't have a caste, and he doesn't have anything that he is tied to. Meaning, he is beyond all these physical limitations that you and I see when we see the form. No jatir neva varano, na bhavati purusho, na napunsam, na chastri. So, he is beyond all castes and, um, uh, and he is neither a male nor a female, female and nor in between. Because sex is not related to the body. The Guru is beyond the concepts of male and female and uh, in between. He is an uh, energy, like we said. Then 
This says, na karam no vikaram na hijani maranam na asti punyam na papam no tatvam tatvam ekam sahaja samarasam sadgurum tam namami. Meaning, the Guru has no physical form, no akaram, no deformity. Meaning, don't look at the body. We are talking about the Guru's tatva, the self. Nahi jani maranam nasti punyam na papam. He doesn't have a birth, he doesn't have death, and he doesn't go through uh, punya and papa like most people do, which is uh, good karmas and bad karmas. He's beyond that beyond gravity so to speak no tatvam tatvam ekam sahaja samrasam sadgurum tam namami so he is uh, uh, beyond all elements that we see he is a supreme energy and he is that one non dual concept that we call brahman sahaja samrasam so it is very spontaneous and the rasa or the nectar comes to the devotees, to the disciples through him. To that Sadguru we prostrate. Sadgurum tam namami. Then this one most of you know. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. Meaning that Guru, God stands for G generate brahma ji o operate vishnu ji d destroy lord shiva so the three the cycle god has to continue in a perpetual cycle first creation then sustenance then destruction isn't it so guru is all three brahma vishnu mahesh then it says guru sakshat param brahma guru is beyond these three and he merges into that supreme consciousness we call brahman Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. To that Guru we adore and we offer our prestations. Then Chaitanyam Shashvatam Shantam Vyomatitam Niranjanam Nadabindu Kalatitam Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. That means he is Chaitanya. Chaitanya means he has the consciousness that is everlasting. Shashvatam. Shantam meaning he is full of bliss. Shant Bhav. Vyoma Titam Niranjanam. Vyoma is air. He is as pervasive as the air itself and Niranjanam meaning with no taint, no blackness, no color, pure. Nada Bindu Kalatitam. He is the Nada through which the sound comes and the Bindu through which the world is formed. Kalatitam. He is beyond all these names and forms to that Guru. We offer our adorations. Shri Guruve Namaha. Agyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha. Agyana Timirandasya meaning we human beings, shishyas, we call ourselves very pure, very this, that, but we, we don't even know. We are caught in lust and greed and this and that and so many problems we have. So we have a gyan, we have ignorance that has caught hold of us. Timirandhasya, we are in darkness and we are as if blind. Agyana Timirandhasya, then Guru brings his Jnana Anjana Shalakaya. He brings his uh, Anjan called the black black colorium that gives us uh, the vision imagine a blind person starting to see suddenly he has sight that is the knowledge that the true spiritual guru brings to the uh, disciples through his jnana yajna through guiding them one step at a time taking them slowly out of the ignorance into the dawn of pure light from darkness comes the sun. Chakshurun militam yena tasmai shri guru me namaha. So that colorium the guru has applied to my eyes. And how can I thank such a guru who I was lost in the web of the world process. But the guru has pulled me out. Us guru ne mujhe nikal kar mera kalyan kar diya hai. Ye guru ki shakti hai. 
then uh, the next shloka is akhand mandala akaram vyaptam yena characharam tat padam darshitam yena tasmai shri guruve namaha akhand mandala akaram meaning this whole mandals this earth system the heaven system the patal lokas each of these lokas is a cosmic uh, energy uh, that is rotating running around vyaptam yena characharam all of those uh, world systems are uh, permeated with guru's uh, blessings because there is char and achar there is life and there is insentient life also like stones and rivers and mountains and also human beings so that's what we we are saying that tat padarsh tat padam darshitam yena tasmai shri guru venama they all get blessed by the lotus feet of the guru and they get this light this knowledge through that energy sthavaram jangam vyaptam yat kinchit sacharacharam tvam padam darshitam yena tasmai shri guruve namaha which means that god is embodied in everything whether it's movable or immovable he is in a mountain he is in the brooks he is in you and me also everywhere and that energy permeate permeates so guru is simply one who is distributing that energy that he has received from the divine and therefore enlightened people are very few in this world please i cannot over emphasize this so much youtube so much garbage every channel you see somebody is talking giving you some advice except they themselves don't know what it is so eating food is very different than showing somebody a picture of food so everybody is on the path we are all on this path trying to learn but true gurus real teachers will never advertise themselves they may not they may be totally unknown they may be in a cave or they may be very simple they may be living in a hut or a palace it doesn't matter they are not after these worldly indicators which we consider to be such a big thing in our lives for gurus name fame and all means nothing useless they are all about trying to help souls one soul at a time like swami lalita nanda ji was saying the disciples should be the ones who want to um, get purity and enhance themselves to that level where they can enjoy worldly success and spiritual success also but hypocritical things don't work so many people come to guru guru ji give me this give me that give me diksha but inwardly nothing <laughs> no bhavna no such devotion no such thinking of what my guru would need what would he think what have i done to make his life better uh, his mission better very few people align themselves to that and those that do are the blessed souls like kabir like uh, our gurudev and this lineage swami shivanand ji maharaj we remember him today for that beautiful beautiful things so na guru rodhikam tatvam na guru radhikam tapah na guru radhikam gyanam tasmai shri guru ve nama so there is no element greater than the guru meaning the highest and na no penance can be greater than guru bhakti that is the highest no and even in the guru gita those of you who are getting advanced on this path should read guru gita because it's not about the body it's about the relationship about your individual soul to the cosmic soul and uniting the two you know that is what a true guru shishya relationship is na guru radhikam gyanam there is nobody who can give you the actual picture of fire and actual fire that is the difference the real guru will give you the real fire whereas everybody else is just showing you the picture that will not give you heat <laughs> looks very nice maybe very expensive maybe a beautiful painting but for you it cannot generate heat for you so you need the real heat tasmai shri guruve namaha to that guru we adore ourselves guru re ko jagat sarvam brahma vishnu shivatmakam guru partaram nasti tasmat sampujyet gurum guru is one in this whole world which means all these gurus that we adore are not different we cannot say this guru is different than somebody else or some other they are all teaching the same universal message 
once the river becomes an ocean it doesn't matter which river doesn't matter whether it is the ganga or the sacramento river or the yamuna river how does it matter it's all the same ocean now so they become the same guru reko to brahma vishnu shiva we see the guru and guru is beyond all our limited concepts and unlimited concepts to that guru we adore humbly prostrate यस्य देवे परा भक्तिर तथा देवे तथा गुरौ तस्य ते कथिता यार्था प्रकाशन्ते महात्मनः दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट श्लोका बिकॉज़ परा भक्ति मींस डिवाइन डिवोशन डिवोशन दैट इज ऑफ अ वेरी हाई क्लास लाइक मीरा लाइक शबरी वेयर योर डिवोशन इज एट सच अ हाई लेवल दैट यू ट्रांसेंड द नॉर्मल कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ भक्ति that is called para bhakti where does it come from from guru's grace from his lotus feet from you becoming nothing and then offering your prostrations to the guru that doesn't mean you don't use your mind or you say i am nothing it is a sign of humility to um, basically reduce your ego to a point of nothingness when that happens consider yourself advancing if you say well i also know i have also read this that teacher said this this teacher said this consider your journey to be a longer one it will come eventually you see every sinner is a saint in the making only every we have all we were all once in kindergarten today we are doctors or engineers or big people or small people what difference does it make we had to start from there only a for apple b for boy <laughs> isn't it so that is what we are we have to see and today and so that is also very necessary when if you have a 5 year old for him that kindergarten is the most important thing right now so every soul is on a level that we should not judge anybody we should not say he doesn't know or he knows all we should say is we can only talk about ourselves we know nothing so many years have passed decades have passed oh guru please unless we get enlightened we are ignorant please let's repeat that unless we are enlightened we are ignorant doesn't matter how many doctorates you have doesn't matter how much businesses you have succeeded in doesn't matter how many uh, big houses or cars you have worldly possessions you have or even tapasya you have done if you are a very sincere aspirant and all you are doing is praying but we have not hit that mark of enlightenment till then we are ignorant so therefore we have to continuously pray to the guru to say oh guru it's without your grace i cannot succeed so please continue to shower that grace because without guru's grace god is not going to give us enlightenment that's a very straightforward principle but it takes time for us to understand that because if ego will come you will say why 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 not i have read so many books i can read bhagavad gita i can read upanishad sure do that <laughs> you see so when para bhakti comes para bhakti meaning intense devotion there everything dissolves all your education and all your pomp and show and all your everything you become like shabri simple and honest and dedicated so that's what he is saying he will give para bhakti tasye te katitha yartha prakashante mahatmana through his grace the light will shine and that is the light that will take you to enlightenment मन्नाथ श्री जगन्नाथो मद गुरु श्री जगद गुरु मम आत्मा सर्व भूतात्मा तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः ब्यूटीफुल श्लोक इट सेज माय गॉड श्री जगन्नाथ मीनिंग द गॉड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स सो ही इज माय गुरु इज द गुरु ऑफ एवरीबॉडी बेसिकली गुरु इज द टीचिंग द नॉलेज सो दैट नॉलेज what is the essence of the shloka that you start seeing yourself in everybody in your enemies in your friends in your children in your parents in your relatives also in the people walking on the street because you cannot say i am different or i am superior or inferior we all have the same soul inside but the evolution has to happen that's it 
तो मम आत्मा सर्वभूतात्मा माय माय आत्मा एंड योर आत्मा आर द सेम देयर फॉर स्वामी जी ऑलवेज सेज ब्लेसेड सेल्फ ही ऑलवेज टॉक्स टू यू एट द आत्मन लेवल एंड दैट्स व्हाट वी आल्सो से सो तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः टू दैट गुरु वी ऑफर अवर एडोरेशंस नमः शिवाय गुरुवे सच्चिदानंद मूर्तये निष्प्रपंचाय शांताय निरालंबाय तेजसे so oh uh, we pray god we pray our guru as lord shiva shiv means auspicious shubh auspicious and he is satchitanand murtaye he is existence wisdom bliss personified absolute parakashtha whereas we also have that but we are uh, layering it up with name and form so what we are doing is we have added a name and a form and we get stuck that is called the world process if these two are removed name and form simply is removed then you are brahman only so these are the different things now i will just read the shloka so far i have explained everything now i will just read it in uh, um, with the concept of time in mind अज्ञानमूल हरण जन्म कर्म निवारण ज्ञान वैराग्य सिद्ध्यर्थ गुरो पादोदक पिबेत निशुद्ध निराभास निराकार निरंजन निबोधम चिदानंद गुरु ब्रह्म नमाम्यहम निधे सर्व विद्याषजे भवरोगिण गुरवे सर्वोका दक्षिणमूर्त नम ओं नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदा कर्तृभ्यो वंश ऋषिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलवरहित प्रज्ञा घन प्रत्यर्थ ब्रह्मस्म ओं नारायण पद्म वशिष्ट शक्ति त्र पुत्र पराशर च्यास शुक गौड़पद महांत गोविंद योगींद्र मता से शिष्य श्री शंकराचार्य मता से पद्म पाद हस्तमलक शिष्य तम त्रोटक वार्तिकारमन अस्मदुर सतत्मास्मी श्रुतिस्मृति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय श्री दक्षिणमूर्त नम ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम सो वी हेव कंक्लूडेड आर गुरुस्तुति मेनी ब्यूटिफुल सेंटिमेंट्स वर एक्सप्रेस्ड इन दीज फ्यू श्लोकाज दैट आई रेड वेरी फास्ट 